Welcome back to the vlog. So I'm here finishing up, cleaning. Everything is cleaned out, I'll show you. I've been sweeping. And yeah, I've packed everything up. Most of it's in storage. And that's the closet. That's how small it was. That I had. That's all the room that I had really. In the bathroom. I'm still done cleaning in here, but not a lot. I took the shower curtain and stuff down. So they're gonna be like this is an old place, like historic old. So they're gonna be renovated and I can be here for the renovation and they didn't want to renew the lease. So and I was basically really here just for month to month, actually. So I'm finishing this up. I'm gonna mop it, although yeah, I'm gonna mop it. And and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna do the final walk walkthrough later this evening with the property manager. Oh, you see me in that? I forgot to tell you, I gotta have hip surgery in June. I went with my MRI and stuff and got the results. I gotta have um, a replacement. So yeah, and that's gonna be fun. So that's why I'm walking with a limp right now. Yeah, but I just want to, um, here it is, the empty studio. But this was like, I have opio arthritis. I'm not really claiming it, but that's what I was diagnosed with. And I guess over the years, it has developed into this, in this hip regimen reign here, you know, so. And I can't get, I, there's no other correction, like physical therapy and everything from looking at the MRI and the x-ray. It's almost like bone on bone. There's no fluid in between in, be, in between the joint. So my knee is just moderate, regular, mild arthritis. I just got to continue doing some leg extensions at the gym and all that kind of stuff. And just walking. He said he didn't want me to do any more jumping. So no more jogging. Just walking and cycling and like stationary bike and that kind of stuff. So, and of course I'm gonna keep doing my strength training, but I haven't been to the gym all week. I've been moving and doing stuff, going to the storage. So hopefully next week I'll be able to get back into my regular routine. We've been all, we've off, today's Good Friday. So we're off today, we were off yesterday from work, from driving the school bus. And I did work Wednesday, I was off Tuesday because I, I was moving, I had the movers come and they moved everything up and put it in storage for me. Tomorrow I'm doing, working for the home, home care, home health stuff tomorrow and part a little bit on Sunday, although it's Easter Sunday, but I'm gonna go in for a couple hours. But just to welcome you to the vlog and I'll talk to you soon. Hoping all is well with you and happy Easter. And here's the kitchen, all that's gonna go in the trash. I'm gonna take the brittle, but all this stuff here is just trash. I'm just for the final, but I'll show you a little bit. How many times you've seen this angle, right? So I'm gonna mop up and everything. And they're gonna be doing some renovations. They've already started on the apartment next door where my daughter was living. So they're gonna do, I guess they're gonna do this one next. Yeah, they're making a mess. We'll clean up when we're finished. Snow crabs, potatoes, corn, and what is it? Smoked sausage. And that's what we're having on this Good Friday. And potatoes, yes. Yeah. And the chef is my son and myself. Would you say daddy? Yeah. Yeah, so. Sometimes we call big daddy. No, what? Not big daddy. Whatever. Not big daddy. Girl. Not mama's. Big daddy. Don't do that to girl. So that's what we're doing this Friday evening. BB's still getting the bath. She's getting groomed today, actually. So I'm getting ready to have my food. There's mine. Two clusters, corn, a little bit of potato, and sausage. 
crazy about that. Somebody even looking at that. It's it. Good Friday. Tokyo's here. He's missing BB. She's getting groomed. So basically, that's what I've been doing since I'm not in my apartment. I've just been living with my family. I'm with my grand, my son, and my grandkids. With my daughter occasionally. It's just a joyous time. Welcome back to the vlog. Right now, it's the day before Easter. Happy Good Friday, which although it's Saturday. But I'm getting ready to do some devil eggs for our Sunday dinner. Um, and I'm gonna make a breakfast scramble, a recipe that I might not share with you guys, but you might see me making it. But right now, I'm gonna boil the eggs. I hope your day is going well. Um, subscribe and like. Well, you ain't got to like it, but subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. I'm trying to switch y'all up so you can see what's going on. I know it's kind of chaotic. It's been a minute, but I done moved. So, you know, right now we're doing the family thing. We're all in one big old house. And I'm making scrambled, no, double days for, for Easter Sunday. And I'm with my son, his wife. They got married. And my grandchildren. It's a joyous event right now. It's a good thing. Although I'm not in our apartment, but hey, God is still working. Always. So I'm gonna boil I'm gonna put some water for these eggs to boil for the double eggs. And I'm gonna do a breakfast scramble. And i I don't know if I'm, my, my camera setup is not, my camera setup, my camera setup was never the best, but it's going to be probably worse now, I'm, just, I'm being honest. <laughs> I'm being honest, I haven't been to the gym all week because I've been moving, I have some health issues going on. You want to say hey to the vlog, Joshua? Yeah. My grandson is watching me record. This is my oldest grandbaby, my oldest grandson. The other one is outside with us, this is Joshua Jr. He might he'll be helping me in the kitchen a lot. Chopping up some stuff. But I'm gonna get ready to do deviled eggs and a breakfast scramble that I'm gonna prepare and prep tonight. Let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. In the morning where I gotta go to work Easter Sunday for a couple hours. I'm gonna make this for my son and his family where they're gonna I told him he can put this in the oven and let it cook for about 45 minutes. That way for him and the children, he can they can have that with maybe a waffle or a pancake on the side because it's a lot, it's six children, and it's like six children now and three adults and one dog in this household. So we're coming together. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'll be back.
That's the breakfast casserole, infrared Russia, it's a sausage, maple Italian sausage, just an egg mixture with um, scallions and whole milk. This is for double eggs for tomorrow's Sunday dinner at my mom's. This is the breakfast casserole, we'll have white bread, cooked bacon, some seasonings, maple sausage, I'm going to add some cheese, and some egg mixture, um, kind of like an egg, a custard. With some Worcestershire sauce. French juice. Yeah. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like in a minute. I'm filming myself, so I can't really show y'all actually what I'm doing. Okay. Spice, you know how I am. I like, I like, I like a little bit of heat. So, wait. Oh yeah, hell, hell. I'm gonna add a little bit of Jack. To this mixture. It's hot, it's hot jalapeno and habanero Jack cheese. I probably add the whole bag. You gonna go wild. Oh, if it mess up, it mess up. If it's good, it's good. Thank you, Joshua, for not being in the video. And you're trying. You could have been filming me. You were dressed already. Let me do a whole bag. A whole two cups of cheese. I'm not going to even open up the um, triple cheddar. I'm going to leave that. And then, I'm going to add... This egg mixture with, this is a dozen of eggs, maybe a cup of milk, a half a cup of scallions. I had it, some roasted garlic seasoning, some, what else did I add? I didn't add any salt. Worcestershire sauce, roasted garlic, onion powder, black pepper. I think that was it. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna ladle this for this. I need, I'm, I gotta bring y'all close, hold on. And then I'm going to let this soak overnight. I'm not going to cook it until 
the morning. My son's gonna put it in the oven while I'm at work. But I wanted to do this so he wouldn't have to worry about breakfast while I'm at work or on Easter. You know, he always cooking breakfast for his family. It's a, it's, it's a big family. So I'm like, you let me do this and I can just prep it overnight, can sit in the refrigerator, and then when you get up in the morning, you can put it in the oven. You don't have to worry about it. So now, so, you probably been hearing the fan, the fun. overhead fan. Apologies, but that's what that was, because it was kind of smoke in here. I still got to do double eggs after this. I'm not done. And I've been to work all day. But hey, I'm not complaining. So I'm going to add the um the, the egg custard. I'm going to pour it over this mixture. Like so. I might add some more eggs to it. I think I need to. Because I want it to be really, really... Like really, really moist. Looks like I'm gonna add some more eggs and I'll be back. I added four more eggs, maybe a half a cup of more um, custard. And this is what I have with some scallions on top. So I'm gonna let this soak overnight in the oven. And I added some roasted garlic seasoning. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, this is what it is. Bye bye da. Roasted garlic seasoning. I didn't add, I added a very little salt, but not a lot. Worcestershire sauce to the batter. I had a complete seasoning. Um, what was black pepper? A little bit of sea salt. Very little. Maybe two turns of sea salt. And a, um, I didn't add this, no. That was it. And that's what's in here. Bacon. The sausage that I used was Jimmy Dean maples. It's kind of sweet. And I showed you the cheese. So that's what that's what this is. I'm gonna let this sit and cover with some foil in the refrigerator first thing in the morning. He's gonna pop in the oven while I'm at work, and this is gonna be a Sunday morning breakfast. On the side will be waffles or pancakes. Yeah, that's how deep. You see the custard at the bottom. I'm gonna let that bake in the morning.